Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer the question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we've got... Ava. And... Harper. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about John Quincy Adams from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Neapolitan goo. Blue slime. Smelly cheese spray and crackers. Pickle juice spray. Dog food. Shaving foam. Mystery eggs. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. Before we play, John Quincy Adams was the sixth president of the United States. He was the first son of a president to also serve as president. Adams was one of America's greatest foreign policy leaders and negotiated many treaties. He was also a man of principle who became a leading voice against slavery prior to the Civil War. Are you guys ready to play the game? Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Are you nervous? Yes. Yeah. Don't be nervous. We'll start with a warm-up game. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, put your hands in the bowl. Take them out of the bowl. Oh, you guys are good. You must keep your hands in the bowl for the entire game. If you take them out, you lose a point. Understood? Yeah. Awesome. The youngest player goes first. Question number one goes to Ava. Adam's childhood was eventful. He witnessed the Battle of Bunker Hill when he was seven. At age 10, he traveled with his father to which continent? I don't know. Oh, let's see if Harper can steal it. <laughs> Harper. Adam's childhood was eventful. He witnessed the Battle of Bunker Hill when he was seven. At age 10, he traveled with his father to which continent? Great Britain. <laughs> the answer is Europe. In 1777, John Quincy Adams traveled to Europe with his father, John Adams, who was appointed by Congress as a diplomat. John Quincy spent the next seven years in Europe, seeing France, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Prussia, Russia, and Sweden, and learned several languages. The trip made young John Quincy one of the most well-traveled Americans of his time. Neapolitan goo. Are you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, it's slimy. <laughs> Half for you. If I can get it to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it to stop. <laughs> and the other half goes to Harper. Oh. <laughs> How does it feel? Is it cold? Yes. It smells good, though. Really? I think it's kind of stinky. No, I like it. That's enough for you. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> Ava, what are you doing over there? I'm doing ASMR for my YouTube channel. Oh, it's like oddly satisfying. Yep, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Question number two goes to Harper. A Harvard graduate and trained lawyer who became a diplomat, John Quincy Adams negotiated a treaty to end which war? A, War of 1812, B, American Revolution, or C, Civil War? 1812? That is correct. A, the War of 1812. In 1814, President James Madison sent Adams and four other diplomats to Great Britain to negotiate the end of the War of 1812. After five months of negotiations, they signed the Treaty of Ghent and ended the war. Because we've got some nice Smurfette potion here for you. Wow. This is going to be even more oddly satisfying. More collection. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> You don't like the slime? Not really. It even matches your shirt. Oh, it does. Oh. What's it feel like? Water. Well, at least you're going to slowly turn into a Smurf vet now. My hands are already turning into a Smurf. Next question is for Ava. While serving as Secretary of State under James Monroe, Adams negotiated a treaty with Spain to acquire which state? A, California, B, New Mexico, or C, Florida? C, New Mexico. That is incorrect. <gasps> Let's see if Harper can steal it. Question number three. While serving as Secretary of State under James Monroe, Adams negotiated a treaty with Spain to acquire which state? A, California, B, New Mexico, or C, Florida? C, Florida? That is correct, no! C, Florida. <laughs> Adams met with Spanish ambassador to the United States, Luis de Onís, and negotiated the adams onís Treaty in 1819. Under the terms of the treaty, the United States acquired Florida and the two sides agreed on a border between America and Spanish territory. The agreement was hailed as an American foreign policy triumph. 
You know the cheese spray is smelly when it says smelly cheese spray right on the label. <laughs> Ew, it smells so bad. Wow. Let's add some crackers. These don't look too stale. Oh. Give you some nice polka dots. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I'm not gonna be. This is too much fun. It's so much fun being the anti-hero. <laughs> Question number four goes to Harper. Many say that Adam's most famous accomplishment with President Monroe was when he helped craft what foreign policy doctrine? Mm, I don't know that one. Ooh. Let's see if Ava can steal it. Ava, question number four. Many say that Adam's most famous accomplishment with President Monroe was when he helped craft which foreign policy doctrine? I don't know. Uh-oh. The answer is the Monroe Doctrine. Adams served as Secretary of State under President James Monroe and worked with him to issue the Monroe Doctrine in 1823. The doctrine announced that the United States would oppose European attempts to colonize the Western Hemisphere. To this day, it is a very important part of American foreign policy. Well, this is going to be great for you guys. You're both getting the pickle juice spray. Oh no. Are you ready for your fate with the pickle juice spray? Then here we go. Oh, how does it smell? Uh, do you like the pickly smell? Yeah. You do? Well, let's give you another spray of the pickle juice spray. Oh, that smells really good. Thank you. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Is your slime still slimy? No? What's it like now? Oh, oh yes, ASMR. Yes, yes. <laughs> we need that. And another one. I like that. It's at least a nice color in your bowl now. Ooh, it's a really pretty ocean. There's a little bit of sand. Exactly. Just at a resort, casually eating a pickle. It's a whale. Oh, now I have a blue Smurf pickle. Uh. What's that sound? Oh yeah, that means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, each of you get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your John Quincy Adams digital magazine. But there's a twist. You'll both be blindfolded for your question and mess. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Ava. What right does the First Amendment guarantee? A, the right to bear arms. B, freedom of speech. C, trial by jury. B, freedom of speech. That is correct. B, freedom of speech. The First Amendment, the most famous of all amendments, guarantees Americans the right to freedom of speech. This means that Americans can express opinions without fear of punishment by the U.S. government as long as they do not harm anyone with what they say. This looks so <laughs> squishy and gross. Oh, no. It's oh, some no. pig ears, isn't it? <laughs> you would probably wish it was pig ears after you see what this is oh, going to be. Oh, no. Just woke it up, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, it's the worms. Oh. Oh, yep, that's a pig. <gasps> it might just be a pig ear. Oh. Or a bunch of them. Oh, no, no, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Bit. No. Oh, no, it's dog food. <gasps> it feels like packing peanuts. Packing, packing peanuts. peanuts? I don't think I'd want that in a package. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz, question number two goes to Harper. Who is the highest ranking judge on the Supreme Court? I don't know. <laughs> oh, let's see if Ava can steal it. Ava, who is the highest ranking judge on the Supreme Court? Um, I have no idea. Oh, the answer is the Chief Justice. The Supreme Court has nine justices and they all have one vote when making decisions. Even though the Chief Justice has the same number of votes as everyone else, he is considered the highest ranking judge. Also, the Constitution designates the Chief Justice as the presiding officer during an impeachment trial of the president. No. Oh wow, they're crawling around the bowl. Oh no! no. At least they're slow. They don't crawl too fast. Well, maybe I can mix them in my Smurf Ocean Potion. I think you might end up doing just that. <laughs> I've never seen worms this gross, though. Worms are not squishy. How do you know that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, what Harper. is this? It's dog food, I think. Uh, yeah, it's dog food. I hear the kids. <laughs> That's the jar. That's what we have to keep them in so they don't escape the room. Let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. Oh, marshmallows. Ew. <laughs> now back to John Quincy Adams. Next question goes to Ava. John Quincy Adams once said, America goes not abroad in search of blank to destroy A, giants, B, monsters, or C, dinosaurs. A giants? That is incorrect. <gasps> Harper, can you steal it? Question number five. John Quincy Adams once said, America goes not abroad in search of blank to destroy A giants, B monsters, or C dinosaurs. B monsters? That is correct. B <laughs> monsters. During his tenure as Secretary of State, Adams gave a speech where he stated, America goes not abroad in search of monsters to destroy. She is the well-wisher to the freedom and independence of all. In other words, he believed that the United States should not be an aggressive nation that interfered in other countries' affairs. This policy guided America's relations with other countries for much of its early history. Do you have a dog at home? No. You don't? No, she oh. does. Yeah, I, I don't think my dog would even like that. Though. Really? No. Otto loves these. Well, hopefully you can appreciate it. Mm. <gasps> okay, it wasn't the Well, dog since food. you insist, I speak a little bit of I dog never insist. <laughs> <laughs> that smell. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I don't blame your dog for not eating this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as your hands are in there, you don't lose a point. Oh, they're in, they're in, they're in. Trust me, they're in. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Question number six goes to Harper. In 1824, Adams ran for president and won due to a voting discrepancy and runoff. What did he not want to accomplish as president? A, building new infrastructure. B, implementing new tariffs. C, expanding slavery. C, expanding slavery? That is correct, C, expanding slavery. Adams had an ambitious agenda for his presidency. He supported developing America's infrastructure, roads, canals, and railroads, and implementing new tariffs. He did not, however, support expanding slavery. Throughout his career, he was a firm opponent of slavery, even calling it a sin before God. And what do we have here? Oh, that's here? not bad. <laughs> that's all we're gonna do. That's it? Kidding. See, it's not that bad. Oh, it smells good. You're welcome. Thank you. Want a little on top? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now go ahead and mix that in. Let's see if it makes your bowl a prettier color. Oh, it's keeping pastel. <laughs> pastel green. Wow. Now it's not ocean potion. Now it's like dirty yeah. aquarium. Very dirty aquarium. Next question goes to Ava. Question number seven. What did John Quincy Adams do after leaving the presidency? A, served in Congress. B, served on the Supreme Court. Or C, started a bakery. B, served on the Supreme Court. That is incorrect. <laughs> Let's see if Harper can steal it. Number seven. What did John Quincy Adams do after leaving the presidency? A, served in Congress. B, served on the Supreme Court. Or C, started a bakery. A, served in Congress. That is correct. A, served in Congress. Adams is one of two presidents to serve in Congress after leaving the White House. He is the only former president to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives, which he did until his death in 1848. The mystery egg, the mystery egg. Okay, Can nice you make sure it's eggs. a real egg? A real egg? Yeah, I want a real egg. Okay, I grabbed the real one. Can I get a countdown, please? Three, two, one. Oh, Nobody. sorry. We only had fake eggs it's for you. It's not real. It's not real. <gasps> oh, now I have a colorful aquarium. You do. See? There's it's always the a bright side. Food. Wait, the ASMR. <laughs> Oddly satisfying. There's a market for everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's time for the final question, and this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. But there's a twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Understood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then let's get started. 
What famous educational institution did Adam start in his retirement? Harvard University. That is incorrect. Do you want to guess, Ava? <laughs> what famous educational institution did Adam start in his retirement? Oh, it's a beautiful day to be me because I get to put two pies in two faces. <laughs> The correct answer is the Smithsonian Institution. Adams strongly promoted science and worked hard during his time in Congress to establish a National Institute of Science. Thanks to his efforts, Congress voted to establish the Smithsonian Institution in 1846. Today, in Washington, D.C., the Smithsonian Institution runs several museums that receive about 30 million visitors per year. Ah, <sighs> you know, I've always wanted to be a baker. That seems like enough, right? More. Mm -mm. <laughs> there we go. Two beautiful pies coming right up. And some sprinkles on top. Oh, we need a lot just more. One more. That's what I like uh -huh. to see. <laughs> wow. Let's do a countdown together. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Bye, Harper. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Ooh, and just so you can see Ava get her pie too. Hi! I still can't see. <laughs> I'm gonna have my tongue out. Can I get another countdown, please? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> How's it taste? Really good. Thank you. Finally, someone appreciates my cooking. Here's what we learned. John Quincy Adams was the sixth president of the United States. He was mentored by his father, John Adams, who also served as president. Adams became one of America's greatest diplomats and negotiated many treaties. He was never afraid to fight for what he believed in and courageously opposed slavery. The winner of our five point star and American flag trophy is Harper. <laughs> On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah, I got a little messy, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the whole point of the show. And for being such great sports, both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now, you two, shake hands. <laughs> Good game, bro. Good game. And how about a high five? Oh, no. Are you ready for it? <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.